Hi everybody. Under my last video, Bad Force left a comment talking about adding optional skins into my remake. It's not something I have thought about before, but I think it's a really cool idea. Except that I don't really want to spend time making those myself. But I figured maybe some people from the community would like to make some skins and have them playable in the demo. So the way I see this is in the game menu or pause menu or whatever, that'd be this button for skins. You press the button and that's where you of course choose whatever skin you want and the choose selection screen would look something like this. So you have the skin, how it looks. Uh, next to the skin, you have the skin name. Underneath that, I would put the creator's name of you know whoever made the skin. Underneath that, optionally, if you like, I could share there your social handles. So like, you know, your Instagram, Twitter or whatever. I think it'd be best to limit it to like maybe three. So at most choose your top three socials like YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. And maybe underneath that, we could put a section for like your thoughts. So you could put like, hi mom or whatever, like, a, you know, one cent one or two sentences. Okay, so that's basically the whole idea. Now let me move on to the more technical part where I talk about how you need to prepare your skin so it just functions properly when I import it into Unreal without putting in any additional work. Okay, so let's say you've made your model, you painted your textures in, and now you want to export the textures. If you're using Substance Painter, you just go into Export and choose the default Unreal Engine 4 packed preset. This preset exports three textures, one for the base colors, one for, for the normal map, and a third one, which is ambient occlusion, roughness, and metallic packed individually into each of the RGB channels. So in the red channel, we have ambient occlusion. In the green one, we have roughness. And in the blue channel, it's the metallic channel. Now, if you're not using Substance Painter, you just have to export your textures to follow this convention. So red being the ambient occlusion, green, roughness, and blue metallic, like I just said. And remember to export your normal maps in the DirectX format, not OpenGL format, because otherwise they will be flipped. Now let's say you want to add in some kind of tiling normal map. Like for example, you want to make a sci-fi sci skin where Rayman has all these hex patterns on top of him. That's fine. I use one myself on the hoodie. If you want to use a tiling normal, uh, you can use vertex painting on your model to mask out where you want the tiling normal, or you can provide me with a mask texture. However, this is completely optional. If you don't want to use a tiling normal, there's no need for that. Just having the three basic textures is completely enough. Okay, so we covered exporting your textures. Now let's talk about binding your Rayman skin mesh to my existing skeleton, so all the animations work. Um, here you have a Blender file, which you'll be able to find in the description to this video. It has all the original animations, so you can kind of check if your skin is working properly has the armature, the skeleton that I work use. Don't worry about all these weird bones. It has a proper hierarchy over here, which actually gets exported. Okay, so let's say I import my Rayman skin to this project. Let's say my Rayman skin is this cube. <laughs> now I, all I gotta do is select the cube, shift click, select the armature and control P, armature deform. You can do it either with empty groups and then paint the groups yourself or do automatic weights and then just do some manual cleanup. Let's say I choose the automatic deform. Now the cube is <laughs> has a running animation. Now what's important, don't change anything in the armature. And in your Rayman skin mesh, after you parent it to the armature, don't change any of the names of the vertex groups you ha get that get created over here. And there's one more thing that's kind of optional. Let me delete this cube and look at Rayman. I gave Rayman two shape keys over here. One for blinking and one for being kind of angry. Yeah, like something like, that, like this maybe. Uh, I use this to animate his face in cutscenes. So like when Murphy slaps Rayman, he kind of makes his face. If you want your skin to also be able to emote like this, in the cutscenes, then you have to create these shape keys yourself and name them the same way they are named here. So blink and angry. Actually, I have a typo. Anergree. 
I'm gonna keep this typo. You have to call it anergree. But this is optional. If you don't do this, then your skin just won't make any facial expressions in the cutscenes. But aside from that, it will work just fine. Okay, so you imported your model here, you parent it to the armature, and you fix the weight painting to make sure the animations look properly, or you didn't, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna put your skin anyway, probably. Now it's time to export. So make sure your skin is selected and the armature is selected. Press file, export, FBX. And now this is very important which options you have to select here, so pay attention. First, we included two selected objects only. We go to geometry, select smoothing to face. Do not apply the modifiers if you have uh, the shape keys for emoting, you know, for, for the facial expressions. Otherwise, this doesn't matter. We don't bake any animations. We go to armature, deselect add leaf bones and select only deform bones. All right, now to name the skin, I think it's best if you just call it SK for skeletal mesh. Now let's go for Rayman skin, floor again, and now the name of your skin. So mine, maybe I don't know, would be cube. Then you hit export. And now let's talk about how you can send me your skins. So I think the best way to do this is in your Google Drive, create a new folder, call it Rayman skin or something. Upload the FBX file and the texture files to this uh, folder. Uh, copy the link. Now I created a new email just for this to make sure I don't miss any of your submissions. It's called R3 Fan Remake. You can put skin in the subject or something like that. Copy the Google Drive link. And now just type in the skin name, so like cube for my skin, then your name or how you would want to be called as the creator. So I would, I don't know, say Mark or marked as Unreal. If you want some social handles, then you can paste them in here. So I'll paste in my YouTube, for example. And then the sentence, if you want one, like, hi, mom. Okay, I think that pretty much covers everything. To be clear, when I say skins throughout this video, I don't mean when Rayman picks up a power-up and turns into a different color. Those skins I'm going to make myself. I'm just talking about pure cosmetic skins. So the ones like in Rayman Legends where you can just change how your character looks. If you have any questions or I made any step of the process unclear, just ask in the comments or through email, I guess. As for some kind of deadline, well, basically until I finish the first level. So don't really worry about it. I still have a lot of work ahead of me. Okay, that's all from me. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.